Okay guys, so this is a video on a couple things here, mainly uh, using RetroArch and reconfiguring the aspect ratio, as well as uh, a little bit on custom borders and fitting your video, or fitting your image, your window of your game into a uh, custom border. Um, uh, so or you're gonna, if you're like me, you know, you, you go to these games and the window comes up and it never it, do, it doesn't fit in the border unless you're using four by three and you're using a, a template border that works for SNES and, and NES games and, and that type of thing. Well, I found that when you're using MAME, the images and the aspect ratio comes out all goofy. Well, here's how you fix that, okay? If, if you run MAME and you're getting different window sizes for different games and you can't figure out how to get the right window size for the game you want, okay? So I'm gonna use an example here. I'm gonna use um, uh, Mortal Kombat here. Um, so we're gonna go into here. You're gonna see the game load up. Um, right now there's no border. I'm gonna show you how to add a border. And uh, game starts and the window is really small here. You know, um, and, and it's okay if, if you like that and you get maybe a little bit better quality image, um, but sometimes it's just too small, right? So what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna, you're gonna go in and you're gonna be like, oh, okay, well, I just go to video and I'm gonna change the aspect ratio because this is standard four by three. Uh, 16 nine's okay, still borders, 16 10, uh, one by one, a lot of them come out you mean you can scroll through here none of them fit exactly perfect where you're going to get a border in there here's full screen which is kind of shoddy um, i don't like that that's too wide of a version here's one by one par uh, not bad um, but not 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 good if you're going to put border there's too much on the top and bottom um, the core provided um, so I'm going to go down here and you're going to say, well, you know, sometimes you turn uh, integer scale off and things change. Well, yeah, they change, you know, there, you you know, you can see that changes with the core provider. Not bad. You might, you could go with this. Um, you could go with all these, right? Um, you know, five by four isn't bad. You can fool around on these and try and get it uh, good. Uh, I'm going to show you what what I did when I added a border and how I wanted uh, to get it in uh, so right now let's uh, let's go to the computer and show you how to get a border custom border onto uh, this main core okay guys first before I get started I gotta give uh, thanks to B Slino uh, from Hackchi uh, team He's the one who taught me all this stuff and uh, how to fix all this stuff. Okay, so first you're gonna need two files, okay? You're gonna need your background image file, okay? Which you can make custom or you could get a template if you if you want, but it might not fit right. Um, I personally made my own. Um, I wanted my main games to have uh, the game logo on the left and the right. Nothing really on top, it didn't really matter. Uh, this is an example of one that I made. Um, you, you, I'm not going to show you how to make one, but basically you need a transparent image in the middle here uh, to, to put the game window inside here. Um, and that's that's the way the game, the window of the game is going to lay in there. Okay, so you can make an image and then tinker with the image and keep going back and forth and resaving. Um, you can you 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 probably would want to uh, get transparent images and then since the screen is black it doesn't really cut over into the game window um, this one is not a transparent image but uh, it, it's kind of black and it fades into black and you know I'll, I'll put the window so it fits in here nicely and I'll show you how to do that um, but you're gonna need a PNG file uh, this one is named mk2 PNG and you're also going to need to do a config file okay the config file is right here you, you must use notepad plus plus okay 
to do this use notepad plus plus and your your file is going to read exactly like this and you're going to put the spaces in here like i got overlays equal space equals one then you're going to put your png name right in here and you're going to save that file okay after you do that you're going to have to ftp it into uh into uh well you're not going to have to but you should ftp it because it's easier um i'm not going to teach you how to ftp or to log in but there's videos by Patton out there on how to ftp um, but you're going to go into your snes sorry i didn't turn mine on yet um, so we're gonna have to wait till it connects okay we're going to log in okay and when you do so you're going to go to etc lib retro you're going to go to config and like I, and like I say if it's great if it's hidden you might have it as a hidden folder you're going to have to unhide it I actually forgot how I did it I think it's somewhere in options preferences um, you're going to go retro arch yeah I believe you go to overlay yep yeah, overlay so here's the directory and then you're going to put your backgrounds and CFGs in here uh, name them the same lowercase and you're going to put them in here and the way you can do that is you can just take your PNG file drag it into here okay and then you can take your mk2 config file and drag it into here okay once you do that now you're set to go and add it through retroarch into the background so let's uh pretty much go do that now and that and and then we'll be done okay so we're back at our game uh we got the small window here uh, show you that and uh we're gonna add our background now and then we're gonna mess with the aspect ratio after um so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go down to on-screen overlay we're gonna turn the display overlay on then we're going to go down to overlay preset and we're going to change this to the CFG file for the config right there. So you'll notice there's our PNG with our image off to the right there. Our config file is what we're going to set. We're going to hit set. You see it says MK2 config. Uh, we're going to go back. We're going to resume game and boom, there's the overlay now you'll see that the, the window is pretty small right um, but uh, we do have a good picture there so we might not want to expand it too far um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna m we can mess with the aspect ratio okay so we go to uh, we'll go back to the right here a second options video and we're gonna mess with the aspect ratio, right? So right now we got integer scale on, we got uh, four by three, 16 by nine. You're not gonna be able to see how well it fits, but you're not gonna get one that fits perfectly and you might not even get one that you like, okay? Most people use, and you can see like the config, that's pretty big and not too crisp. Uh, most people use the one by one par uh, or one by one or core provided, which are all good, but um, they, they're not gonna fit your, your, your borders. So if you wanna move this whole image and window and resize it, there are options, there are options on here where you can do it manually. Okay, so there are certain, um, there are certain fields here where you can move the picture wherever you want. You can resize it, you can shift it. And the first thing you're gonna do when you do that is you're gonna go down to, uh, you're gonna go down to integer scale and you're gonna turn it off. And when you turn it off, look what happens. It, it, it sends it over into the upper left corner. But watch, you can move this by using the custom aspect ratio X and Y position. Obviously, uh, everyone in school learned the X and Y grid. Uh, you, you watch how it slides over when I move it over. So now it's sliding it over. This takes a little bit, but I'm gonna slide it over uh, until it gets into the right position. And then I'm gonna slide it down until it at least gets into 
a middle position okay okay so that looks about right um, in the middle but, but let me go back to we said we were going to turn the energy energy scale off you have to be on custom to make sure so your aspect ratio has to be on custom okay so uh, now that we're on custom that's when we can use these X and Y positions uh, and then as well as the custom width and height okay so now I'm gonna start opening it up you can see it enlarging and get to a spot where uh, you know I think it's a good uh, position of now I gotta move it up a little bit oh, I gotta move it back up get it big enough where I like it not too big where it stretches the scale and kind of big enough where the, the borders kind of fit fairly nicely right so oops. so it's a lot of playing around when you use the custom now you might be able to get an aspect ratio that just fits right in there uh, but the custom one will definitely get you in there with a lot of playing around or get you get you uh, you know to to make your borders look good um, so let's uh, let's now if we just back out here and go back and we'll see how we look oh that looks pretty good it's a little off on the on the right so um, I'll have to fix that and see how that goes all right so it's a, it needs to go a little bit left maybe a little bit wider so again we go over to video and we're gonna move it over a little bit left oops up is okay move it over a little bit left and make it a little bit wider and when we make it a little bit wider I like that I'm gonna make it uh, oops I'm gonna make it a little bit taller too uh, just to keep it the, 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 it looks pretty good so I'll make it a little wider a little okay so let's try again and it's perfectly aligned on the right but not on the left okay so again we'd have to make it a little bit a little bit wider again let's go back video custom we're gonna move it over some more we're gonna make it wider I can almost see a little bit when I do this um, in there you can't see through this video but you can almost see where where it is um, on the screen um, and, and maybe it'll make it a little bit easier but there that looks perfect left or right and I don't mind a little black on the bottom and the and the and the uh, top so uh, we got our borders right on line just about I mean it could be a little better but Good enough for now and you get the whole point of this right so and uh, see if we can finish him oh too late okay guys well that's basically it um, except for one other thing uh, once you do this you're gonna say okay well great I changed the configuration for this game and the aspect ratio when you change it for this one it sticks for every game that you open for this court unless unless you do the override save by game so I'm gonna save game override in the overrides option and now this particular setting including the background and the aspect ratio will stick for this game only on this core um, so when you exit out and turn it back on it's gonna stick for this game okay um, other than that guys uh, if you have any questions write me at the email below and uh, we'll go from there all right all right see you guys